Hey everybody, it's Brutal Bubba. Welcome to my Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the PC. This is one of my favorite computer games of all time. Um, if you knew me, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, and I've beaten this game at least three times. Uh, it is so much fun, and I can just go over the menu here real quick. Very few options to play in this game, but eh, you know, it's it's a it's a 10, 11 year old game. Came out with the movie, so you got options. To, and uh, Quidditch. We'll get into that after I've beaten the game. I'll do some uh, Quidditch matches for you. And then just exiting and then let's start the game. So uh, let's just do that. Then uh, I'm going to click on New Game here and then it's going to start a cinematic. It's going to go on for a minute or two. So uh, yeah, enjoy it. And uh, welcome to my Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle, was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! All right. Our objectives. Ten defense against Dark Hats with Quester Quirrell, located on the third floor. And you can also find one secret wizard card. There's Harry. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albert Oh, I love those glasses. <laughs> now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry. So search behind every door, but keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning. I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. I wonder if he gives that speech to every student. Anyway, uh, I'm Harry now, I'm moving around. So yeah, we're supposed to go up the stairs after our first lesson, which is Defense Against the Dark Arts. Hey Harry! Hey, it's Ron! Remember me? Ron Weasley? My brothers, Fred and George, have something to show you. Follow me! Alright, Ron. Follow me, Harry! I am. 
Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Good luck, Harry. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Botts Every Flavour Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. We'll take a shortcut. See if I talk to George. What shortcut? I don't see a shortcut. And the top left there is your health, is in the, the lightning bolt right there. Um, you'll see the yellow and orange color drain out of it if you get hurt. Um, beans don't really do anything. I mean, you can train them for wizard cards with Fred and George, but that's pretty much it. Well done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. I know how to jump. Whoa, oh no! Down. Peeves! That's Peeves the poltergeist. He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. See, Peeves took out a little bit of my health, as you can see in the top left corner of the screen here. He is quite a nuisance in this game. He wasn't included as the movie, as anybody who's seen the Harry Potter movies would know, but... He was included in a few of the games. Oop. You're getting the hang of this. In Hogwarts, you'll find all sorts of wicked treats. To pick up a treat, just run over to it. Chocolate frogs boost your energy. Bertie bots every flavour beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. We need 25 beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us and we'll show you the way to class. Why don't you collect the beans yourself? Gosh. So yeah, a lot of this game is just, you know, jumping and climbing, but there's some spells used too. We'll get to that. Oops. Forgot to press the jump button. I'll get these two. There's one back here. Look at me, I'm gonna get 29 beans. I'm an overachiever. Come on. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. We need the beans for some... <clears throat> Experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. Of course you, you do. It. Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. So to collect wizard cards, you just go near them, and Harry will do this, and they'll be in his collection. And to well, check the wizard cards you've gotten. Oh shush, George. To collect the, to sh uh, look at the wizard cards you've collected. And press escape here. Press folio magi. And we have Albus Dumbledore. Current headmaster at Hogwarts. Considered the great wiz greatest wizard of modern times. And you can look at the others. Yada yada yada. I normally don't collect all the cards. And I don't think I will be... Um, I'm just doing this just to show you guys how the game works and all the things that happen. And we're about to meet a bully. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, 
and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins. Oh God. Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. What a brat. Well, if you go this way, you see the third floor corridor where Fluffy is, and you see Argus Filch. Keep away from this corridor if you know what's good for you. <laughs> I love him in this game. He is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Can't go through that door. I could show you, but yeah. Just nothing I could do. And here is Hermione. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? Defense against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me. Follow me. Uh, we will. But that will have to be on the next episode of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So next time we will do our Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson. We'll learn how to do the Flipendo spell and we'll go through the Flipendo challenge. So I'll see you guys then.